Businessman Business Success. Today, Mandy is chairman of the board of Oarsman Automotive Enterprises, an outstanding family business now into its third and fourth generations. All through this, Mandy has found time to be a real leader in our community. He founded the Betty Lou Orsman Breast Health Center at Georgetown Hospital and has been a leader in the National Symphony Orchestra and the Kennedy Center. Mandy has also been on the Board of Trustees of the Landon School, the Washington Heart Association, the Corcoran Gallery of Art, and was president of the Police Boys Club. But it hasn't been all work and no play. Mandy's an av avid golfer, often found at Burning Tree. And Mandy has a wide range of friends. His warmth, his charm, and gift for friendship are legendary. Mandy and his lovely wife, Mary, who is our ambassador to seven Caribbean nations, are always on the diplomatic front serving our country. Mandy, congratulations on a well-deserved and very distinguished honor. I grew up in Washington, D.C., and it was very pleasant. We had a baseball field near the house, and I enjoyed playing baseball growing up. My mother, I lost her when uh, in childbirth with my younger brother. And so it would, our family, our immediate family, was father and myself and my younger brother, Florence. I sort of uh, planned it forever that I would go into the business that my father had started. I emulated him as best I could at a very young age. He uh, started in 1921, having worked for General Motors Corporation. It's grown now to where we have well over a thousand employees and sales volume has approached a billion dollars in sales the last few years. This is probably the greatest city to be in the retail car business I could think of. The fact that we have so many repeat customers over the years, and uh, which is a, a very pleasant thing when people come up to you at some party and say, well, my grandparents bought cars from you. I'm most proud of the fact that uh, I was the founder of the Orsman uh, Breast Health Cancer Center, and I get nice letters from ladies around the country who say that there are very few special places that they can go for this sort of uh, treatment. I'm passionate about my, fam my entire family. My wife is uh, currently the United States Ambassador to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean and she uh, has been a great inspiration to all my kids and to me. I'm really proud of all six of the boys. They're all, they've all been pretty successful. Education is vital, and I think uh, the junior achievement is on the right track completely. You must have integrity or you will not be successful, no matter how smart you think you are. And give back to the community and uh, realize that uh, the golden rule will apply when they, to be a success. This is probably the greatest uh, honor I could uh, think about in business. It's wonderful being here with, uh, first of all, all of these other winners tonight, laureates. Before I say that, I must tell you as a businessman of sorts, when you can have your banker here to introduce you, that really is amazing. Um, we get along, he's, he's a fabulous banker and I really appreciate his willingness to be here to introduce me. Also, uh, I, I'm not a uh, founder of a business. I went to work for my father uh, after college and after the General Motors School, uh, thinking I knew everything and found I didn't know so much. But Washington is the most sensational city. First of all, we have over 300,000 government employees. Uh, they, they get paychecks all year, every year. They don't get laid off. They don't go on strike. 
That's what makes Washington great for business. That's one of the great pluses. I um, also, another thing that makes business good is that I'm so proud that we have a table full of our management personnel here tonight who, without whom we would never succeed. They are outstanding in every field. Um, and I am also proud of my sons, stepsons, who are here tonight, who are part of our company. And in addition, a fourth generation pair of grandsons are here tonight who are working in business. They're gluttons for punishment. They want to be in business. It's a great business. General Motors, Ford and Chrysler and all the other car companies will be around for many years, including the first three I mentioned. I'm an eternal optimist. They will succeed. And I appreciate the opportunity to be part of a junior achievement, learn about it tonight. And Frank, my banker, thank you so much for everything. And my wife, who's the United States ambassador to Barbados in the Eastern Caribbean, putting up with me in the automobile business all these years. It's been wonderful. And I'm just very happy to be here and thank you all so much. Gentlemen, I want, to, I want to call to the stage uh, a young lady I mentioned earlier, Ayanna Bradford. Uh, she's now actually going to come out, and she's going to be accompanied by, by a very special public servant uh, who has decided that it's time for him to step away from the public arena, but it's someone to whom we owe so much in this country for his service as a courageous legislator, leader, and just a good old-fashioned American hero. Please welcome U.S. Senator John Honoree is Milton Peterson, the principal and founder of the Peterson Companies. His company is developing the National Harbor Project, that, which has been called the Jewel of the Potomac. Senator Warner, I always thought the Wilson Bridge was the Jewel of the Potomac. Thank you very much. Thank you. Folks, uh, I'm going to tell you up front, it's always danger for a senator to have an open mic and go at it. As a matter of fact, there's an old saying in the Senate, uh, you're only worth your salt if you take two minutes to clear your throat before you talk. I was told in the instructions I had two minutes and that's all. And I've been there 30 years. If I can do that, I'll have a feat tonight that I never did before. But I just didn't bring a script. I just wanted to say a few words from my heart. My congratulations goes to this organization, the Junior Achievers and others who put together this evening, and the five awardees whom I've known or just met, one, and for their achievements. This is such an important recognition we have, and I'd like to take a minute to say why. I've been privileged to be a part of this community. My father practiced medicine here. I grew up in the shadow of the Washington Cathedral where my uncle was an Episcopal minister at Mount St. Albans. And I've seen this city and studied it and been a part of it. 
and tried as a member from Virginia of the United States.